Hello everybody, this is Wigbert Caro, aka Module Octopus, and I am here to showcase some composition techniques that I personally would approach in Sonar X2 from Cakewalk. So big ups for them for having me and hope you enjoy and learn some insights. Here we go. Alright, so what I'll be doing in my composition, uh, I'll show you that as you can see here, I'll be using only Cakewalk instruments such as Zeta, Rapture, and Session Drummer which I feel are amazing instruments on themselves. A uh, thing I like about X2 a lot is how each channel comes already on board with uh, very good channel strips, EQs, tube saturators, uh, wow, almost anything I could actually want if I were to be in an actual analog studio. And another great feature is how it comes on board with a great, MIDI strip with effects that could input, quantize anything I want, everything from scales to arpeggiators and so on and so forth. So I'll showcase a few of these and let's have fun with the ways you can make music with them. So to get my composition started, I'm just going to improvise with some pads. I'll be using Zeta 2 for this. And what I like about using pads a lot is that you can create a whole harmonic mantra, which you can later jam different melodies or rhythms on. and pretty much make them part of the essential piece of the composition. So this is my little patch for the moment and I'm just gonna pretty much freestyle. So here we go. Two, three, and. That's great. So just out of that loop, I'll play once more. And now I'm going to go into this other instrument. Let's see what we have here. Lead. Perfect little African percussion. And now I'll just jam out a few ideas on top of this. See what comes out. All right, so I have my harmonic loop in set. Now I want to have something to keep in time besides just the metronome. I feel it could get sometimes way too square, so I'm going to import this audio file I have of a conga loop. And as you can see here, I'm gonna zoom in with touch screen, very similar to how you would approach an iPad. Now, as you can see here, it's not fully set up to the actual time. So I'm going to play with the metronome. You guys will hear it real quick. So in order to adjust my loop to the current settings and current tempo I'm working with, I'm going to right click and select groove clip looping. Now if we listen back, I got a perfect loop set up to where I need it. So now I can duplicate it as much time as I want them and keep it as a steady groove so I can import even more ideas. All right, now that I have my harmony and my percussion loop going, uh, I'm going to improvise some melodies and get into the zone. So I'll be using the Zeta patch, this really cool percussive instrument. And to help me in my whole recording, I'm going to make use of the X2 MIDI strip, which has a snap to scale setting. And this basically quantizes any notes I play into a certain scale. So I'm going to assign it to F natural minor which is what my pads are currently tuned into. And I'm also going to quantize the input, so it will just save me time and put all the notes to the nearest 16th note. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna get into the zone and improvise any melodies that come to mind. <laughs> 